There's not one country that is smarter than the other. An entrepreneur has already risen beyond all expectations in order to be able to do what they're doing. What we have to do, we have to be there ready to help them grow and help get over the challenges that they're facing. Welcome to another video of the Makers and Shapers series. Our Makers and Shapers conversations uh, featuring thought leading uh, interviews with captain of industry, high profile startup executives and investment experts, the makers, as well as EU national policy makers, the shapers. Today, I have the distinct pleasure to welcome Sina Amidi, managing director and EMEA co-head at Plug and Play Ventures. Welcome Sina and tell us more about yourself and Plug and Play. My name is Sina Amidi and I work at Plug and Play. I work at Plug and Play because it's a family company and it was my dream to join the family company, um, which is many people's dream if they have the opportunity. Luckily, my family's company became modern and became tech focused. So I was able to join a company that is so fun and constantly changing. Plug and Play started out as an incubator or an accelerator with one building where we would rent out space to startups. We did that as a way to get access to investments. Initially, we believed that the startup ecosystem in Silicon Valley was the best. Um, but now living in Europe for the last five years, I know that isn't true. There are amazing people all over the world. There are amazing corporations all over the world. And by being closer to them, we can make more of an impact in their journeys and help them grow faster. Thank you, Sina. So in, in one of our recent conversations, you once said one of our preferences is when investing in startups is to invest in teams rather than individuals. I find this very interesting because this is also a criterion we apply when investing in our startups as part of our open innovation factory. Can you please elaborate on why this is so important and actually it, it is key for you? So when you invest in a startup, especially in early stage, you know that they're going to be battling hurdles left and right. A successful startup is a startup that is able to get past every single hurdle that goes to them, and they are an exception to the rule. It is not easy to start a company. We want a team that is cohesive, that we don't find any problems with early on, because we know they're going to be consistently challenged from day one, and for the next four to seven years. So we look for the right team, someone that is, you know, not scared of challenges, that has the, you know, the twinkle in the eye or the, um, the inspiration to succeed and to conquer all challenges. Thank you. Um, Europe is a, is a big and diverse market. What are the countries that Plug and Play and yourself uh, have a special focus on? So... Europe is very diverse and it does create a challenge and it is important to identify the differences and to focus your efforts on those differences. I can't look at Europe as one entity or one culture because every single country has its own challenges and its own bias. Currently, we are all over Europe as far as offices go. Um, we do a majority of our investments in Germany, France, and Spain, but that's because of where we have our team. The bigger our team is, the more investments we do in that location. So I truly believe that there's good entrepreneurs everywhere in the world. There's not one country that is smarter than the other. An entrepreneur has already risen beyond all expectations in order to be able to do what they're doing. What we have to do is we have to be there ready to help them grow and help get over the challenges that they're facing. In your opinion, what industries have the power to unlock Europe's uh, innovation potential? Is there a specific sector you're looking at? So we're looking all over and we invest in every single sector and every sector has a lot of opportunity. Um, we keep hearing about AI. AI is something that is very, very scientifically focused and it's consider deep tech. And in all of Europe, there is many universities and many talented people that can help tackle that problem. Um, another big sector that we concentrate a lot on 
is the mobility sector. Um, we work with, you know, 35 different corporations, if not more, some of them being Daimler, Porsche, uh, Ferrari, Jaguar, Land Rover, Volvo. And we've created hubs in four different cities throughout Europe focused on mobility. Um, another sector that's quite important to us is retail. Retail has had their challenges with COVID and the switch to online is quite difficult. Um, and many, many retailers are looking in, looking at innovating what they're doing. Um, we work with many people in supply chain, the port of Antwerp, the port of Gothenburg with Inditex in order to help speed up the supply chain issue. In your opinion, how does the agenda for VC in Europe look like and how do you assess this in comparison to the US? So I think there's two different issues here. Um, one is the, what, capital, what capital is available and two, it's what startups know about it. So one, for sure, we need to increase the capital that's available for startups in Europe in order to have easier investments or an easier access for the startups in Europe. Now, I think that's what's best for the EU, um, but for the startup, the challenge isn't exactly the same. A startup needs to find money. Where they find the money isn't as important. So what I mean by this is if a startup is willing to fly to the US or fly to London every week to find money, there's no reason why in America it should be easier to raise than in Europe. A startup is a global entity. It's someone that needs to get over the challenges. So in my opinion, startups need to be connected to the ecosystem all around the world. And the biggest problem isn't that they, there isn't enough money, it's that the startups aren't educated on where to find that money. So we take advantage of this, of course, like every other investor. In 2020 or 2019, a startup in Switzerland was worth one fifth of what a startup in California was worth. A startup in London, maybe 75% of what a California startup is worth. And there is no reason. So we need to teach the startups in Europe, the startups in every country in Europe, that you don't just look for money in your backyard. You look for money globally, and if you can sell your idea to the right investor in California, in China, in Japan, then you should. You should find the best investor for you and not the one that's around the corner or not the one in your neighborhood. Yeah, I fully support what you said. That, uh, at the IT Digital, we always say there is no innovation without education, and we truly believe that the skills development is so important, especially in areas uh, related to innovation and entrepreneurship. So uh, this was my uh, last question. I, I really enjoyed the conversation with you. I, I thank you for your insights, Sina, and also thank you for the opportunity for joining us in this uh, Makers and Shapers conversation. And I'm looking forward to the continued collaboration between Plug and Play and the IT Digital.